Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering AWS reInvent 2017. Presented by AWS, Intel, and our ecosystem of partners. Well, welcome back here on theCUBE. We are live at reInvent, AWS's big show, and I mean big show here in Las Vegas, spanning some four hotels, hundreds of thousands of exhibit space, and nearly 50 thousand attendees. It's going to be a great three days, and we're glad you're with us here on theCUBE. I'm John Walls, along with Lisa Martin. Again, glad to have you here, and we're now joined by Paul Beavers, who is the VP of Products. He specializes on the R&D and the product management side of the house at BMC, and Paul, glad to have you with us. Say, CUBE first timer, right? Yes, I am. All right, we'll Nice go, to meet you, we'll glad go, to be here. We'll go easy on you. Okay, good. And a Bronco. Yeah. UCO, Central yes, Oklahoma. Yes, absolutely. I'm an old Tulsa guy, so are I know you? a lot yeah. about UCO. My yeah. wife's a UT grad. All right, good. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, keep it, we'll keep it all in the house here. Yep. All right, yep. first, tell us about BMC first. Um, company's been around for, for nearly, what, almost some 40 years. Yep. So you've gone through multiple iterations. So how'd you get to the point to where you are now and what are you doing now? You know, I, I, the way that I like to think about BMC is while the technology, the underlying technology has changed a lot over the years, we started off with our roots in mainframe. We've, we supported many different Unix platforms, Linux platforms, different types of databases. But the th one theme that's always been the same is BMC is, has one overarching goal, which is to help our customers succeed with IT, regardless of what the platform is. So as, as the, the industry has transitioned, I've been in the industry about 30 years, and over the last 30 years, as the industry's transitioned, it, it, there is, has always been a need for large enterprises, insurance companies, finance companies, to, to be successful uh, with their IT. And there's always a gap to be filled around making IT better and making IT functional, uh, making it perform, and most importantly, making sure that it's supporting the business and the business is continuing. And that kind of uh, previous a question that I wanted to ask you is, as you've seen massive technology shifts since 1981, what are some of the trends that you're seeing that the business is really leading with, the business outcomes that IT has to facilitate? You know, I think that, so obviously there's been lots of different tr uh, transitions in the business and the technology over the years since 81. I think the last five years have been the most pivotal. Uh, and the reason is, is because not because there's a, a change in the IT or the technology, but because of all of the different technology and opportunities that are out there, businesses are now leveraging IT to be the business as opposed to support the business, right? So if you take things like Uber, Netflix, Airbnb, even, even banks today, uh, the IT is the business, right? So if you think back about five or 10 years ago, IT, a mobile app for the bank, was a convenience. Now if you're a member of a bank and the mobile app doesn't work, you're going to find a new bank. That's all there is to it. It, it is now critical. That's what digital transformation really means. It's not a buzzword, it's real. And all of the businesses that surround us, we're at Amazon's event, right? Amazon is one of the most, the biggest digital businesses there is. Uh, all of those businesses have a, a, a new dependency on, on IT. And so, that change has created opportunities for companies like BMC to ensure that IT works, because then we ensure that the digital businesses are working. And you say, you know, not a buzzword, a reality, um, but yet there's still a lot of people on the other side of that fence, right? And they haven't made that transformation yet, or yeah. they're in the process of doing That's what you're all about, right? Facilitating that. So what are you talking to those who may be a little bit of a foot dragger, you might say, and, and they're, they've got to make some different decisions now, so how, do you, how are you coaxing those folks along and, and, and what's your primary messaging on that? There's, there's kind of two different aspects to that. So one is from a business perspective, we really want to see that they, if they don't digitally transform, they won't exist in five years. And I think they know that. So I, I think the situation is becoming more and more dire or urgent for them. Uh, one of the things that, that has helped them is things like AWS, Amazon Web Services, in the cloud makes it much easier to digitally transform, right? And, and because it's so readily available, and actually there's whole businesses that are growing up on AWS. And so what we do at BMC is help those customers that are on the edge, they're about to make a decision around cloud, we help them ensure that they're going to be okay when they go to the cloud, right? And the example would be 
we've been with them now, some of these companies, large insurance company in the, the Midwest, we've been with them for 30 years as, as a customer, and we're still going to be there, and we're still going to help them on their cloud journey. And, and that, that story gets repeated time and time again across our customer base. One of the interesting things that um, was in the news, John Furrier wrote a great article that was published on Forbes the other day. He did an exclusive interview with Andy Jassy, the CEO of AWS, who talked about you know, the AWS $18 billion uh, run rate, 42% growth, growth a year. He said, you know, we, we haven't gotten here by working with startups alone. We're at the precipice of this mass enterprise migration. You guys have been a partner with AWS for a while, you're an ISV. What are some of the new things that you really here at AWS reInvent to reinforce with respect to your strategic partnership with AWS? You know, when, when, when it's, I can't break that down into kind of three simple, three simple ways, right? So when you think about a cloud migration, customers are typically looking, looking to do three different things, right? They're either looking to save money by lifting and shifting existing workloads and putting them into the cloud. Uh, and, and Amazon, that's a sweet spot for them, they've been doing that for a while. Uh, th but that's kind of the entry level. What we're seeing is leveraging the native services that AWS provides, not only make it cheaper for the customer, but it makes it, it, makes it much faster to develop apps and to succeed with digital transformation. Matter of fact, the application development within enterprises are now becoming more integrators of different cloud services and technologies as opposed to building applications from scratch. So it becomes an arms race, if you will, mm -hmm. for the different vendors, right? The first bank to get to a mobile app, the first, the first insurance company to, to do everything online, all of these different, uh, different needs and capabilities around digital transformation, AWS facilitates that and they do it, they do it, they have some, some competition but they're really leading, they're really leading the path. And, and speaking of that leadership that we, were, I was talking about their growth rate earlier, and they are in the clear lead, and they have a very consistent message coming from Andy Jassy. We're not looking in the rearview mirror. I'm curious, so you mentioned um, application development a minute ago. How are, who's your conversation with in organizations, whether it's a, an, a bank or an insurance company? AWS has done a great job of attracting developers. Are you seeing the shift in terms of your conversations up the chain of command to the CEO, the corporate board? So, you know, I'll answer that in two different ways. So, so first of all, if you think about IT operations, right? So IT operations are the guys within these enterprises that typically make sure that IT runs, right? It's all the monitoring and provisioning, the, the, the work to make IT, IT run. That is BMC's sweet spot. And what you find in these companies is that they get they start small with a cloud strategy, and then at some point they reach critical mass, and the, the CEOs and the CIOs get nervous about, okay, what if the cloud breaks, right? And so that they want to they manage that with the rigor and discipline that they manage typical IT operations. That's a real sweet spot for BMC, right? Because we can manage AWS and monitor all the applications running in AWS and give those CEOs and CIOs and CFOs the comfort that their applications are going to be there when they need to, and as we already said earlier, those applications now are the business, so the cost of an outage is way more significant than it was even five years ago. Yeah, you mentioned um, you know, four or five year trend, right? This has been going on for a little bit now. Um, so just as capabilities have changed, I'm sure the questions coming in are changing too, right? Yep. So, so what's, what's kind of leapfrog to the head of the pack in terms of when people come to you and say, hey, you know, I need help. Yep. But, but this is what's worrying me today as opposed to what was answered yesterday. You know, it, it, the way that I would answer that is scalability, right? So when, when applications go outside the enterprise, out into the consumer world, right? Everybody's got the app on their mobile phone. You go from tens of thousands of users to millions of users, right? And so the, the performance metrics and the data that you generate goes into very, very large amounts of data and it, in order to understand performance, you have to have a new technique, right? And, and so understanding performance in modern times is, is really the, the problem at hand. And that's where you start to hear about things like big data and the ability to store, store petabytes of data and the, and, and the ability to search and analyze that data very quickly, leveraging machine learning and, and analytics. That's where the big, 
the big need is today, and that's where companies like BMC are, are rotating to be able to support that massive scale, that volume of information, because it's no longer about a thousand users of an internal app. Right. It's about, I've got a loyal, we were talking to a grocery store the other day, they have a loyalty app with two and a half million users, and, and by the way, if the loyalty app doesn't work, they go to a different grocery store. That's right. Right, so it's a completely different model, but it's really this, I would say the number one concern right now is to scale, and then second to that is in order to achieve scale, uh, enterprises are leveraging much more modern technology, both in the cloud and on premises, but that modern technology, you have to be able to monitor and understand the performance of that, that modern, modern technology. One more question for you, Paul. What are you most excited to hear from AWS this week? We've seen a couple of announcements that hit the wire Monday morning at midnight about um, AI, for example. What are some of the things that you and BMC are excited to hear from your partner, AWS? You know, I, I actually, today I, I was in the, the partner keynote summit and, and you know, I'm, I'm excited about the way that AWS is rotating to, from a DevOps motion to enterprise. Right, so they announced this week that, that there's actually going to be the ability for ISVs like BMC to sell product in the AWS marketplace, but do it in a way that that's, you can price it and consume it as an enterprise, right? So they're literally, that, that's actually news to me at this event, is that they're really uplifting this approach around sort of smaller groups and, and targeting big enterprises. And for us at BMC, selfishly, giving us the ability to, to deliver on AWS to very, very large enterprises, which is our customer base. We're, we're, we, we support the Global 2000. Right? That's why you're licking your chops this week, exactly. right? Absolutely. 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 Well, thanks for the time. Sure, uh, no glad problem. to have you on theCUBE you. and look forward to the next time down the road, too. Absolutely, anytime. All right, Paul Very Beavers, nice to meet both of you. Join us from Likewise. BMC. Back with more here from reInvent. We're live in Las Vegas, and you are watching our coverage here on theCUBE.